to the Bald Truth Leadership Podcast, where you get straightforward, no-nonsense ideas on leadership and growth, both personally and professionally. It's brought to you by the Chief Coaching Officer of the Peak Performance Group. He's also a brilliant and successful serial entrepreneur. He's a two-time author. He's a certified executive coach. He's a sales genius. He's bald. Hey, now. And he's your host of the Bald Truth Leadership Podcast. Buckle your chin strap. Here's your host, Coach Rick Colster. Hey, 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 welcome to the Bald Truth Leadership Podcast. I'm Coach Rick, your host. Remember to subscribe and like. We're on iTunes, Spotify, iHeart, uh, YouTube videos, and make sure you hit like and subscribe so you get every single episode. It's been a while and we're back. I got to tell you, it's been a crazy year for me and I am back and I'm starting off this second go run here of the Bald Truth with a guy who you are going to love. Uh, thanks for turning us on and listening to every episode. We appreciate all the likes and subscribes to the Bald Truth Leadership Podcast. So welcome to the show, everybody. Mind, body, and spirit are the words for today. In fact, that's our theme today, folks. I'm working on my third book, which is all about taking care of yourself and the people that you lead. The three areas you need to be balanced and congruent in are your mind, your body, and your spirit. And every show, we like to have interesting and exceptional leaders. And today, well, it's no different. Today, our guest is an exceptional leader and has proved it by reaching the very pinnacle of physical excellence. Today, we talk with an expert in keeping your body in the game. Matt Hancock is the owner and lead instructor at Hancock Power Fit. For almost a decade, he's taught thousands of students. With over 11,000 classes taught, 11,000 folks, this guy works his ass off. He's witnessed amazing positive changes in his students and the people that he works with. In fact, he says it's his life's passion to help others achieve a better life through healthy living, quality practice, positive energy, and incredible support. He's a lifelong fitness fanatic and a health nut. Well, I don't know if he's a nut. He's a little crazy. I've heard that, though. And he is a brother, bald-headed, and tattooed. So some may call him a crazy man in a good way, of course, and that's a good thing. And if you know, you know. Currently, he's working on a lot of exciting things, and we're going to talk about them today. But first, let me just give some background on my friend. As many know, and some don't, I have been doing a type of exercise that incorporates old school calisthenics, yoga, and what we call dynamic resistance for almost 18 years before it hit big. Yes, that's right. I'm talking about DDPY, or many know it as DDP yoga. Matt, of course, was the first certified DDPY instructor under none other than the man himself, Diamond Dallas Page. Now, I've known DDP for going on 40 years. And I know that if Matt has the blessing of DDP, he's proven himself that he knows what he's doing, and he is definitely a stud. So today, welcome my friend Matt Hancock to the Ball Truth. Matt, welcome to the Ball Truth, brother. How you doing? Thank you, sir. It is an honor to finally talk to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know we've been friends on Facebook and social media for a while, haven't we? Yes, we have. And uh, once again, I appreciate it. It's a good place to start today. You're you're back on track, and so am I been a rough yeah, year good. us i think and uh but new beginnings right amen you know and you know it's we, we it's okay to get off track folks worry about you know whether it's diet exercise especially i think it's okay to get off track oh absolutely but don't stay off track I and mean, you've cool. probably seen that over and over in your in your history in the fitness industry people you know january is a great month right woohoo Getting in, buy, buy, buys that gym membership. Then what happens in February? Yeah, everybody drops down. Motivation runs out. See, motivation and inspiration, that's great. You get it going. And then discipline takes over from there. Like, you know, you guys are, I, I'm preaching to the choir when I talk to you. You are. No, but you're on. not talking to just me. You've got thousands of people who are listening here. So let's let's talk about that. 
the difference between, you know, motivation is good. Uh, you know, you can get motivated, get excited, get inspired. And then all of a sudden it's the dedication. Absolutely. That really keeps it. Also is your support system too, Rick. You know, I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're hanging with the wrong people, obviously, and they're drinking, smoking, partying all night long, okay. and then you get up at 4 a.m. and do a workout, it's not going to work out for you, is it? Not if you're well, partaking. I don't know about 4 a.m. workouts, bro, but 6 <laughs> no, a.m. I'm okay with. <laughs> but no, actually, my 4 a.m. workouts are getting pushed farther, farther away because that's too early for me now. So I'm not quite as young as you are now. You're yeah. a little, a little bit older than me, but yeah, 49 years young, and you know I'm trying to be in the best shape, not just physically but mentally by age 50, which is next March. I'm really working on everything, like you said, mind, body, spirit. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the critical piece. Is there has to be congruency, mind, body, and spirit to be able to achieve what you want to achieve. We're going to dig deep. We're going to take a deep dive today in some of the things. Um, in all those areas, because you are that expert. And it's not just the physical side that you handle. It's no. truly is the mental side of it, too, that keeps you going. Like we said, motivation, inspiration is all great. We can see that, watch a video, hear, see somebody, get all excited, new year, whatever drives you. But then it's that dedication and that consistency all the time that has really makes the difference in that. And that's where I think a lot of people miss the boat. So I'm thinking about that. So let's talk about that before we dive into some of the questions that I have for you, because I really have some curious questions for you here. Okay. What do you think it is that makes the difference between that motivation, inspiration, and then the dedication and the consistency? What is it? What's the switch that gets flipped there? It's your why. I mean, what is your why? I mean, okay. if you want want to just get into shape to look good I mean, that's that's a reason at least it's a start and then i think as you get through your journey i think your why starts to change a little more mm -hmm. you know it all depends on what you're doing too and, and here's my thing the greatest exercise in that, that is out there you know is walking that's your that's your that's the greatest most easiest exercise and it's free is just walking every day you know and you know because you you walk i walk i try to get the morning started oh, yeah off. i got four and a half miles in this morning i mean it was i started at seven o'clock this morning i got up and it's not fast i don't walk very fast anymore you know 14 minute mile 13 minute mile it's not like i don't it's it's literally a, a fast walk is all it is but it's beautiful it gets out i'll tell you what it's been in covid and we've all experienced covid right yeah. during that first covid year my wife and i get out and walked Every day, we were just, hey, what are we going to do? She wasn't working. I wasn't working. Our business was slowed down. Let's go for a walk in the morning. And you yep. know what that did? Got me in shape. I lost, you know, 10, 12 pounds, a couple pounds that I'd put on over the holidays. But it connected us as a couple. So you talk about that connection, that mind connection for us, that spirit connection between a married couple. That was just amazing. And it really made us stronger as a couple. Every day we get out and do we we talk the whole time? No. You know, people may think I talk all the time. Sometimes I do, but I'm really quiet on the walks. I like to listen and just feel the experience. So now you walk. I mean, tell me tell us about your walks. Mine are um mine's more like a walking meditation. I know people will when they hear the word meditation, you know, they get nervous and think, you know, woo, voodoo, you know. But meditation is just focusing on what you're experiencing, you know, that's and that's right. but I'm walking it to me. It's like doing yoga, you know, it's, you're just enjoying and feeling what you're doing. And, you know, I mean, whether I'm in the woods walking or hiking or whatever, or just walk in my street that I have a lot of hills. I do, I do two and a half miles out, two and a half miles back. And by the end of it, I'm like, wow, cause I got hills where I live. And, and it's just, uh, by the time I'm ready to, I'm ready to go for the day because it's like I said, I always follow a lot of guys that are, that um, I use their phrases a lot of times, stacking the W's, like Bedros Koulian. He always okay. says, stack your W's. So the first thing you do with it, you know, in your day is start small, you know, make your bed, do this, do that, you know, little things around the house. And then like doing that five mile walk, like, you know, that, that's the first thing you do. Boom. Your whole day is set in the right motion, right? That's right. You know, stack them W's. And that's the thing is you, you've got to do that and build that, 
that first thing in the morning. I love it when you you um Admiral McRae McRaven, you quoted him, make your bed. You know, yeah. for those that haven't heard it, if you there's a book out called Make Your Bed by Admiral uh William McRaven. Yeah, uh, great guy, yeah. Navy SEAL, commander, admiral. And um he's I think he works at University of Texas now as uh as a chancellor or dean or something. And uh, he gave a great speech. So you can look it up on the internet. I highly recommend it. Best speech. You know, first thing was make your bed. Uh, feel accomplished first thing in the morning. First thing you do, get up. Do something that make you feel accomplished. It doesn't matter. You know, a lot of people get out of bed. And I'll tell you what. In my book, Roll Up Your Sleeves and Get to Work, I talk about, um, I, I talk about how I used to get out of bed. Attitude. attitude you know, it's all about attitude, commitment, and action. And I talk about the attitude I used to wake up. I used to wake up and, and let a flurry of cuss words come out. Ah, oh, F this, F that, whatever. It would come out. And my kid's mom, that, that my wife at the time, she would say, why do you wake up and cuss? I'm like, I don't know, just habit, I guess. Well, she says, it sucks. That's a crappy habit. I don't really want to hear you cussing first thing in the morning when you roll out of bed. And, and I was young. I was 30. So... You know, here it is. I'm cussing. I'm setting. What am I setting my day up for? First things out of my mouth is something unpleasant. So now, first thing out of your mouth, be something positive. That's what I. That's what I was going to get to. Um, so many teachers over the years, so many great leaders and spiritual leaders, and you know, your Tony Robbins, your Wayne Dyers, all these. I've been studying this stuff for twenty years and just trying to pick up little pieces, and it's like you just want to be yourself. You want to use all those tools that you pick up, put them in your toolbox. I'm going to learn something from you today. And maybe you'll pick up something from me today. Maybe the listeners will pick up something from both of us during this conversation. Sure. Um, um, there's not one way to do things. You know, there's not only one way to meditate. There's not only one way to work out. There's not one way to lose weight. There's, there's so many different ways, you know, and everybody's different. You know, just like everyone has a different size hamstring. There's not one on the planet or a fingerprint that is the same. So why would you think one workout is going to work the same for a million people? It's not. Okay. But you have to tailor whatever you're doing to your group. And that's what I've learned over 11,000 plus classes, which I really have taken, taken note wow. of all. Yeah. And that's crazy. We'll, we'll get into that. But what I was saying is being, um, I don't want to say being alone, which I am at this point in my life right now. Um, went through a rough year this year, but I'm I'm recovering well, and I'm using the techniques that I've learned over the years to make me better and to uh, heal what I went through this year, <clears throat> and now using that to help others. If that makes any sense, um, and like programming your brain before you go to bed is very important um, because your subconscious mind will give you what you want if you program your mind every night. So okay. before bed every night. Five minutes before bed, I'm going to basically be grateful, say thank you for what I have, um, say goodbye to what I lost, and just you know pray for abundance. And I don't mean money. I mean good people in your life. Um, and just focus on, like I said, getting those wins. And then I do a little box breathing, which I've learned from uh, Navy SEAL Commander Mark Devine. Um, followed him for, I've been following him for about a decade. And he, he, he made SEAL Fit, created SEAL Fit, and he's, uh, he's good friends with our buddy Ray. Um, but I learned box breathing technique. And if I do five minutes at that before bed, and then when I wake up in the morning, same thing again, I wake up, say, thank you. As soon as I get my, uh, sore body out of bed in the morning and I, you know, I beat myself oh, up. I know the good. feeling, man. I know that feeling. But that's the first thing I do is I, I say, thank you. Whether it's a thank you or a thank you, <laughs> I get out of bed, get that coffee going because you know, I'm, I'm a coffee drinker. And, well, uh, hey, we got to have some coffee. We we recognize our friends at Black Rifle Coffee. We need a sponsor, guys. We need to, you know, get a little sponsor in here. That's some good coffee. Um, there's a lot of good coffee places. But it's funny, this morning I stopped this little, I didn't go to your Starbucks, you know, your corporations today. I went and supported this little tiny 10 by 10 shack. They have a couple of little locations it's called Bean Box. And it's uh, in LaSalle, Illinois. I think there's one in Spring Valley, Illinois. But anyway, great people. I, you know, to give them a little bit of money in their pocket, I think it's awesome. Well, that's they, perfect. They, I mean, we, we're both entrepreneurs. You and I are both entrepreneurs. And being a business owner as well, you've got to take that lead and help those in your community. And small Absolutely. business, we know small business owners are are really, really the foundation of this country. 
And I love you got your flag in the back background, brother. That's freaking awesome. I love that. And, yes. um, and I know that you're, you're a proud American, you're a strong American and, you know, taking care of your local community. Cause we, I mentioned something the other day. It was really interesting. And I was speaking with a uh, retired army full bird Colonel. Who's also got a PhD in mathematics. This guy's brilliant. He's probably one of the smartest guys I know. And he says, all politics are local. You got to take care of the local. You got to take care. And that's why, you know, and I love my black rifle. I do love my guys at black rifle. Again, we need a sponsor guys. Help us out. But at the same time, hey, shameless plug for my friends at Black Rifle, but also shameless plea <laughs> for some help, right? And uh, but yeah, taking care of your local community, and that's where you ha you have the ability. Look at you, you, you know, at Hancock Power Fit, people come to you locally because you're the guy, and, and these are local people, and you can you can do so much in your community to make a difference in the world. And that's what do, it takes. Yeah, I do my best. You know, hopefully other people will follow suit. That's what yeah, you hope for. And that's it. So I want to dive in a little bit. We've got a little bit of time. I want to All dive right. in a little bit. DDP. Sure. DDP. Yeah. Let's start with DDPY. How did you find DDPY? And why did you start using the program? And when and why did you become that certified instructor? Tell us that your journey through DDP Yoga, DDPY. It's a fun story. It's going to go up, down, and sideways, okay? So bear All with right. me. I'll Hold on, folks. Put your seat belts on. If you're driving, I'll make sure you keep it on. Turn I'll up the volume. Try to keep it, you know, within this time parameters. Um, no, I, the thing was my back, I, I injured my back, and um, I'm, I was doing just like regular yoga, traditional yoga on, on YouTube, did some Bikram yoga classes, and it was starting to feel better. But I, I noticed when I was doing that, I wasn't, lifting anymore I wasn't working out doing the push-ups as much and I felt like I was losing weight and, and losing power and strength so I started googling and going on uh, the internet and it came up I put weightlifting and yoga and all of a sudden I seen Diamond Dallas Page doing yoga with his leg in the air I'm like hmm what is this shit I love that pose. deeper this is 2000 beginning of 2012 and I'm so I uh I played with that for six months. I was watching the videos of Jake the Snake and Scotty. All those things were going into my head every day. Just, and it was like, <clears throat> my wife at the time was like, why are you so addicted to this? I said, I don't know. They got me pulled in. I want to see how he does this with these guys. I'm so interested in this whole thing. And, and, um, and just the way he was handling these guys and the Arthur story, and all that stuff was like, it just kept coming back to me. I kept saying, oh, I'm good. I'm just going to go back to just lifting weights and doing a couple stretches and stuff like that. But, you know, it's time consuming. You're going to do a workout here and you're going to do another workout there. I wanted one complete package. So I ordered the damn thing. And when it came in, um, funny conversation between uh, me and the big guy. But it was uh, the phone rang and I answered it. I'm like, that's oh, probably a telemarketer. You know, I pick it up. And he's like, yo, it's DDP. And I go, bullshit. I said, <laughs> yeah. I, said to my, I thought it was my friend, Matt just making voices, you know, with a fake number, you know, I said, bullshit. And I hung up on him. So he calls back and he's like, bro, it's Diamond Dallas Page. I'm like, whoa. So we spent five minutes talking. He's thanked me for buying the product. It was kind of cool because he was still able to do that. I'm not sure if he can now. I know they. He still does it. I, does I've it. been with him and I've watched him do it. It's crazy. That's insane. It's awesome. I love that. But he did that. He called me, inspired the hell out of me. So <clears throat> with that, I didn't have Facebook yet. I didn't really believe in it. Didn't think I needed it. I was just busy working, doing your okay. nine. Um, so I started doing the program, started finding benefit right away. Within the first three months, my back was feeling better. I was getting stronger. And um, I started watching his challenges. I'm like, well, guess what? It's on. I was very competitive. And I thought, I'm going to do the same thing he's doing, but I'm going to beat him on everything he did. So I'd send the vid I'd email the video to me like, whoa, good job, bro. So I just to get that little you know, pat on the back from daddy, basically. Sure. Absolutely. You know? And then uh, I kept doing it over and over. He did nose push-ups. He did five. I did 10, whatever it was. He, I just kept trying to be, be seen and be known. And mm -hmm. I know a lot of ego plays into that because guys are like that. And I, I'm going to be honest with you. There was a lot of ego because, you know, um, I'm the baby of the family and I'm like, Hey, what about me? You know, <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> And I'm completely different than my three brothers, completely different. 
Um, you know, it's just, you're just trying to find your place in the world. They were great ball players, You know, I was okay, but they were like the MVPs and I wasn't the guy, you know what I'm saying? I was the loner that did a lot of stuff on my own. Okay. You know, I can survive on my own, either in business or any in life in general. And it's, I'm a survival survivalist, I should say. Um, but with that, where am I going with that? I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, well, you were talking about the competitiveness. You're talking about no, how competitive you are? Yeah, I was very competitive at that time. And this is how, you know, I was like just turning 40. And um, I know the, the mind's completely different in a decade later. You really change and you mature. But in the beginning, I was like, okay, I'm going to manifest something. Um, I'm going to manifest me being a trainer for Diamond Dallas Page. I want to I want to teach people. I want to do what he's doing. Okay. I've seen workshops and I was, I was just so excited by it. So I, uh, I sent him another message one day and he, um, he finally sent back, he said, I'm going to be in Chicago. We're going to do a, um, it was comic con or something like that. Oh, E2C, whatever those things are, those conventions at the McCormick place. Yep. So there he noticed me right away. He knew exactly who I was. Give me a big hug. We talked. Um, and then he, uh, we did a workout in one of the rooms. There was like a hundred people in there. And I was like, I'm in love with it. I love it. It's amazing. You know, I'm thinking, how am I going to approach this dude? He's, I, ha I didn't know if he had a training program at all. So I went up, got a picture taken with him. And then I, I walked out, you know, it was like, I felt empty when I walked out though. At the, my wife at the time was walking with me and she's, she goes, what's the matter? I said, I felt something tap me on the shoulder. I said, get my ass back in that room. Talk to him. Okay. So I, I don't know if it was my father, my bub doing it. Telling me to get my ass back in there, so I we walked call in. Those, and, my world, we call those God winks. Oh, absolutely! And I said, "Sir, I said I want to teach the exact words. I want to teach this shit." And he looked at me. He goes, "Well, I am working on a program for that certification. It's not put together yet, you know." I said, "Count me in. I'm gonna be number one. I want to be. I want to be your guy." And he just kind of chuckled, you know, whatever. And um, he goes, "Keep an eye out for it." And we continue to communicate. I started a Facebook page, and I friended everybody I could think of. I went from zero to like 3,000 people in like four months, you know, adding these people. And the people were connected to that person. All the DDP yoga people, I would just add them, you know, because I wanted to be connected to these people because I knew the energy was amazing. And I wanted to, I wanted to taste of that. So I wrote, I had a business card made up before I even got into the training program. It said, Matt Hancock, DDP yoga instructor. I had the logo on the back. I had my name on it. I, I put it in a book and I wrote on the back of it. It said, I will be the number one DDP yoga instructor on the planet in a year. Put it in a book, put it on the counter, left it. Okay. He came out, the, the train, I, I got a little gig at the YMCA and they said, you know, I can use the gym to record and do my videos for uh, yoga doc. Those guys were amazing. They, they were so supportive with all that. And um, we had a great group of trailblazing guys at that time. I know there probably still is, but it was a very unique group of guys we had. We had Hayden and all those guys in there. We're all grinding it out and asking each other's questions like, how the fuck do we do this? You know, what does he mean by this? And it, it was, I was so into it that nothing else mattered. It was, it was like the most I've ever focused. If I would have focused that hard in school, I probably would have been a doctor, <laughs> you know, but I would have been a genius. I mean, my focus was like, there was nobody going to stop me. I was like a cyborg. I was just like, zoom. and um, it paid off because I was, uh, I did it in three months and they didn't even have this test ready yet for the, for the certification. The videos were done. I was done. But me and Doc kind of just, we, we were winging it at the end. And it was, it was uh, interesting. And um, we got certified first, uh, by the end of the year, I was like, okay, I'm going to, Get out of the YMCA because I'm only teaching a handful of people because they didn't give me a real good time. It is what it is. It's a new workout. Nobody understood sure. it. And I went. So did that lead to Hancock Power Fit? Getting there. I'll get there. Hold on. Getting there. Hold. All right. Come on now. We only have half a day here. So I went. <laughs> <laughs> so I went into uh, this building I was running, and they said, "I said I'm going to do a free month for December." Five people showed up. I'm like, oh shit, this is going to work. January hit. Guess what happened? 50 February 100 kept going by summer I had 500 students and wow. I was doing 100 people per class I had a gymnasium I got a big gym and that's where Hancock power fit basically started it was hammers energy fitness in the beginning but I re I just rebranded the name um, that was up until 2015 and then I had a brain fart but it, everything happens for a reason I stopped yep. teaching DD5 and 
everything took a shit. I'm going to be honest with you. It took a shit business wise because I lost my, my connection to that circle of energy that I was just talking about mm -hmm. and had kind of a fallout with Dallas and thank God. I, I basically started teaching more Brian Kess power yoga. Okay. Brian, sure. I know Brian. Talk to Brian still like every couple months. And, um, I talked to Dallas. Now we made up and everything. Um, thank God everything came back. Our friendship is still there. You know, I'm, I was supposed to go down and see him this year. I'm still trying to, I know he's busy. He said he'd clear a day out for me. I'm looking forward to going down there. But a few years ago, I reached out to him. He called me back. We talked and, and, and just hashed it out. And, um, well, that, that shows this quality of people on both ends of the, of the scale there, Matt, you know, and that's, yeah, he, that's the beauty of it is if you put the work in, You'll get the you'll get the results, and that's one of one of Dallas's. I believe that's one of his core principles: do the yeah. work, hard work equals results and success, and that's it. So now we move on to Power Fit. Um, I'm curious: is that anyone can stop by for a workout if they're in the area, join yeah. or yes. yeah, no, walk in. <clears throat> There's <clears throat> level, excuse me, level one and level two. I also do a combat fitness class. It's got the uh, you know, punching bags and we do a little, uh, calisthenics sure. mixed Nevada style, you know, but, um, yeah, if you want any information on that, it's hancockpowerfit.com. Oh, but, there you no. go. Perfect. So it's hand kick Hancock powerfit.com. We'll look down, down below. If you're on YouTube, you're watching on YouTube, it'll be down below in the line. You'll see underneath Hancock fit, Hancock powerfit.com. I'll make sure what's on there. Right. We'll get that there. Perfect. And uh, so now, uh, moving forward, let's see, you're working on some challenging opportunities. I think you've, you've kind of shifted now into giving back and helping others. I see you're, you've you been working with this guy, uh, Wade Harrington? Huntington. Huntington. Wade Huntington. <laughs> How did this come about? This is exciting. I saw this on social media. So for those that are listening and watching, uh, Matt and I are connected on social media. I highly recommend you find him on Facebook and Instagram and find all his social media. He puts some great stuff up, great content. He's working with this guy, Wade Huntington. Tell us about that and how'd that come about and what's what's the outcome desired right now? Well, first we had all this transformation I was were, I was doing back in the day when I first started. And sure. I had some guys that were 500 pounds and they lost a tremendous amount of weight and got off medication and got their life back. Well, he was watching that stuff over the years and he watched Dallas. He's a big fan of Dallas Page. So he's been trying to, he's been hounding me for about a year and a half. And he's a good guy. He's sweet as hell. Six foot six. Um, he was over 600 pounds Holy earlier. Smokes. So he lost about 70 pounds probably on his own before, um, before okay. he, he and him hooked up. So, but anyways, big guy, big teddy bear. I said, okay, let's get together. Let's do this. I said, well, we're going to do it because we're friends. This is not a business deal. I don't want, um, I, he's, and he was cool with the whole impacting and inspiring, which is all I'm about. Okay. So I'm trying to set the record straight because some people think when you do that, you're exploiting people and you're just trying to use them for money. Sure. Well, me and him are friends. And, and to anybody listening out there, he's paying $0 for this. Okay. It's a friend giving a friend back his life. He's got four children and a, and a wife, and um, I guess what? I want to add more time to his his life. He's 41 years old. He's got bad knees, you name it. Um, his back's messed up, and I'm working with him very carefully by using every training method I know, from walking to stretching to some to a little bit of DDP yoga mixed in, sure. you know, boxing stuff, whatever I can do to help this guy. And um, he's already lost 12 pounds in that first 10 days. Um, Excellent. We're going to weigh in again this week. The weigh in is like, you know, is, is, it is what it is. Measurements are something different than the scale. I mean, he's putting on muscle already. Um, he uh, used a chair for the first tra couple of training sessions. He didn't use a chair in that video you probably saw on Facebook um, that he just got off the ground without a chair. So that's tremendous. I, small victories, but they're huge. They're huge. But, you know, Matt, that's the thing is when you do this out of the goodness of your heart. Now, you know, and I know a lot of people will do things for the goodness of heart. When I coach, I mean, I've coached folks pro bono just because I know that they needed that help. Now, right. I, it's my living. It's how I pay my bills and pay my, you know, take care of my family. Right. But sometimes that pro bono 
comes back when you really help somebody and you really do that. And I see it from clients who write your testimonials. You probably get testimonials from your clients. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did that. I would have gladly paid you more to get the results that I got. Right. And those are the, that's the beauty of it, you know, and, and you can't, I don't blame anyone. I don't think anyone can fault anyone for making a living, giving their expertise out. You spent years building that expertise, but the fact that you're helping Wade and you want to help him, And if you put it up there and if it comes around, you know, some people say, Hey, this is pretty good. I need to go see, you know, Matt over at the power fit. I'm going to definitely do that. So yeah, that's positive, man. So setting some goals for him. So have you guys set some goals for him? Yeah, I, we were going to go for six months, 100 pounds, because that was the average six to eight okay. months, you know, 100 pounds, just just to get that initial 100 pounds off, because he did get cleared by a, uh, a specialist to come see me and work with me um, mm -hmm. for his knee. So he got some cortisone and he's operating. It, it's painful, but, you know, it's going to be a painful journey, but we're going to do it. Well, you know, and that's, we, we all know that any any level of success that you're going to have, there's going to be some pain, either emotional or physical and mental pain at some point to get that. You're going to have to push yourself to those limits. You know, we talk about setting goals at the bald truth. We talk about setting goals. And my coaching practice is really designed around the fact of goal setting and they're critical for success. And in fact, I believe without tangible goals, life is just a bunch of dreams. So Think about that, folks. When you you really want something to happen, write your goals down. Set them, write them down. We use what's called it uh, at Peak Performance Group. We use what's called the Smart Way process. Now, there's Smart, there's Way Smart, there's Why Smart, there's Smart Way, uh, Smackdown. I've heard a hundred of them. I don't really care. I was thinking about this on my uh, walk this morning, you know, preparing for our our talk today. So, you know, it doesn't matter what you call them. Just freaking do them. Yeah. That's it. Set some goals. I don't care, folks. Write them down. What you want to accomplish in the next six months, year, right. two years, six weeks, six days. I don't care. Write something down. So now you've got a school program too, don't you? Yeah, that's uh, that is something I started a few years back. Actually, about seven, eight years back. But it, it's come before COVID. I was going to every school locally that I could possibly go for free, and it started off as me going to teach their gym class as a surprise and come in and do a little yoga or calisthenics, like, like Navy SEAL training. They love it. The kids were excited from ages four, I'm sorry, grades four to into high school. But then it, um, my son passed away of a heroin overdose in 2015. So sorry. that, uh, thank you. That, that was my fuel to put more meaning behind what I was doing in the schools. Okay. It was in kids that if you are suffering, either emotionally, sexually, anything like that. Parent, there's too many households that are broken now. Too many. Okay. Correct. It wasn't like when we were kids. You know, your parents, my parents were married 46 years. My dad passed away 20 years ago this month. You know what I'm saying? My mom passed away almost four years ago. Um, they were together and that was it. You know, either they, it didn't matter if they fought or not, they still stayed together. Nowadays, everybody gets divorced four or five times. You got parents with multiple kids. It's a mess, unfortunately. And I, I don't, it's, just, it's sad to see kids that way, but guess what? Can you imagine being one of those kids trying to act normal nowadays and try to learn in school with all that in their mind? It's, it's sure. impossible. So my big impact, why I call impact is I come right in, tell that story, why my son and I were, were disconnected through his teen years and all that through divorce and whatnot and how he got on that path. Um, and we were reconciling toward the end there. And then he ends up passing away accidentally on uh, heroin. Um, but it, it, besides that, the, the power of that impact when I go to these schools, it, you get their attention because kids are usually just looking around. They're not paying attention to what you're saying unless you're doing something funny or you're doing exercises. But when you tell them a story real quick and then you start exercising with them and at the end of it, you show them that, they, that you care and you give them some of the tools of who to talk to signs that you do need help it becomes more of a say no to drugs and find yourself now so you're not 40 years old trying to find yourself. that's what we need i mean i think we need a lot more of that and i love what you're doing because you're making a difference in the in the lives of our young that's our future i mean we've seen too many um challenges mental health we can go into a political we can go into a lot of different stuff that's going on in the news today but really helping these young people 
really get their heads around it's okay to have some struggles. It's okay. You know, life isn't linear. You're going to go through ups and downs. You're going to get knocked down. And again, a lot of life, like a lot of our friends, and we've got some of the similar acquaintances, is uh, it's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you get back up. Absolutely. You know, funny old saying, everyone says, you know why they say cliches are, you know, cliches because they're true. Yeah. They keep Absolutely. coming. You keep coming back to do that. And and staying on top of that and giving back to that com- your community, um, you're making a difference and you're making a difference in the lives. And I love that you're doing that. And, and um, folks, you want to bring Ray, you want to bring Matt in into your into your school, give him a call. You know how to get all of them. Hancockpowerfit.com. We're going to get some more information. We'll we'll give you the information on how to get a hold of them. But he's got a great message. So if your school's struggling, you got kids in there that need somebody to point them in the right direction, at least give them some hope. And I think that's what it is. It's hope. I heard once, I heard a pastor once said, he says, you know what? I could tell when a relationship was not going to make it when the the couple said, no, there's no hope. He would ask him, is there any hope for reconciliation here? And they would go, well, yeah, I hope there is. And okay, we hope there is. Good, but no hope. And then it's done. So you mentioned a couple of things, and I'm I'm gonna transition quick. And I I love getting having some fun stuff, but you mentioned Navy SEALs a bunch of times. And everybody who's ever listened to the bald truth know I'm a huge fan of our military. In fact, I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm going to. My nephew, who's a Green Beret, he uh he was in town visiting this week. And uh, so he's a good kid, got to see him. He's uh, been a special forces operator uh, and uh, for the last seven years now. So he's uh, he's having a lot of fun, and it was great to see him. But I know a lot of Navy SEALs, and I, we've had a lot of SEALs on our, on our show as well, as well as Green Beret as special operators. So you kind of have befriended a – someone who's been on the show today you're you're on social media you built a friendship with someone ray care ray cash care who's been on the bald truth and we had talked about maybe you challenged him or he challenged you what's that all about and uh, are you sure because anybody who knows check out uh ray cash care and his push-up challenge um i think so far he's unbeaten undisputed champion well it, you know the challenge has been accepted by by me <laughs> okay i was doing the thousand so he push-ups. challenged you you challenged him he challenged me yeah. he challenged you he called me out he goes next time we get together he says mano we mano he goes we're gonna do a push-up we're gonna get it on he said we're gonna see who's got the bigger swing and you know what <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm being very good today. Usually I drop a few f bombs, but for some reason I'm just trying to be uh, reserved for you. I don't know. I respect you, sir. That's okay. <laughs> That's good. It's all good here. Hey, I, we're all adults listening here. We get it, but I appreciate it. So it's going to be, you know, I look forward to. I tell you what, I'm going to look forward to you two badasses going at it toe to toe or nose to nose or whatever the heck it is. It'll be fun. It'll be good. What's cool is his little group there, the Modern Day Night group. It's 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 amazing. I, I I wish I would have went to that. I wish I. It's expensive as hell, but it's it's worth it. Trust me. You know whatever. Sure. It's like twelve twelve thousand bucks a month or ten thousand dollars. I'm sorry, twelve thousand dollars for the for the uh, program. But it's so it's so good. I'm gonna give them a big, a big uh, pop for this because um, a lot of the guys that have went through that program, phew, we're all friends on Facebook. We're all fr- we're all follow- they're following me. Okay. I'm them. And I never, it's weird. They kind of reached out to me. So I don't know if they know that we have a connection. I mean, there's a lot of great guys like Aaron Alejandro and um, Matt Schneider. Those guys, I talk to them occasionally. I'll send them messages back and forth. You know, just little, little, little kind of conversations. But it's, it's cool for them to respond back to me because I wasn't part of, I wasn't part of the group. But they treat mm-hmm. me. Sure. With, yeah, well, that's, you treat people great. with respect. They treat you back. And I, I, I'll tell you, I'll give you a quick story. I, I texted Ray one day on one of my my trips. So uh, I shouldn't be texting and driving. I know, but I was. I said, "Hey, what's the oldest that someone's been through the program, the MDK program?" And he said, "60." And I went, "Oh, I'm 63. I'll probably be 64 before I could, you know, get build the time in and coordinate right. it." I wonder. And then I woke up the next morning. I went, "Oh no, absolutely not." 
my body does not want to go through that. And I'm smart enough. I don't have to prove nothing to nobody. <laughs> I, I saw your podcast with him. He's giving you some shit on being old man. That was kind of, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he does. He calls me old man all the time, but I'll, I'll go toe to toe with him, or well, we won't go nose to nose because he's only this big. Yeah, he's five seven. Yeah, he's a short I'm, guy. So I'm five nine, maybe. Yeah, on a good day. He said he looked at me. I'm six foot four. He looked at me. And went son of a bitch, you're big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let yeah. let's talk about how can people find your website, social location. I'm on Facebook, Matt Hancock. And it's also Hancock Power Fit. You know, you can look up that, but it leads you right to it. I post the same stuff on both pages. So I have more people. I got over 4,000 followers, uh, friends on Facebook, hashtag Hancock Power Fit. You can go and look at some of the videos I have out. Uh, hashtag Wade. That's a new one I've got going on. So you can click okay. and just watch Wade if you're interested in that. Um, and yeah, I'm on Instagram also. Once again, HancockPowerFit.com if you're interested in the actual classes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so all my guests have to answer these questions before I let you go. So quickly, you're holding a dinner party for six people, yourself included. So you get to invite five people. Now, the caveat is you can invite anybody you want in all of history, anyone alive or dead. Can't envision somebody who hasn't been born yet, but alive or dead, anybody in all of history, who do you invite? What five people and why? And you said any death, dead or not, right? Dead right? or alive. Yep. Well, the first two would be my parents. There's two. Okay. Rick, would, Diamond Dallas Page would be there. And and why not throw Ray in there too? There you go. There's five people. The hell of a party right there. I'll tell you what, that would be fun. <laughs> so now an article's being written about Matt after you're gone. What's the title? Not what's in it or about it. What's the headline? Um perseverance that's it super i love it i love it so for all the folks that are listening last and, and most important is what do you do each morning to set yourself up for success we talked about it a little bit earlier but what do you really do to set yourself up for success uh once again wake up with gratitude be thankful do my breathing techniques um like I said, try to get that walk in and then plan my day for the rest of the day, helping people. It's the biggest thing. Um, that's my biggest drug is this, who am I going to help? Whether it's a, a kind text message to three people, that's what I do. Excellent. It's Tremendous. Do that. So listen up, folks. You got some good stuff. Matt Hancock, HancockPowerFit.com. Check him out on the social media, ha Matt Hancock or HancockPowerFit.com. Instagram, Facebook, all those got some great videos. He's working with some really cool folks, uh, some really good work for the community and really good work in the world. So, um, and a great American, as you can see. So Matt, thanks for sharing and spending your time with us today. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. All right. So if you, you want to leave our audience with one thing, what would you leave them with? Help people. That's it. Just help everybody. Help anybody who's down. If you have a little bit to give, it doesn't mean money. Time is more important than money. Tremendous. Thanks for sharing. Help people. I'm Coach Rick, and that's The Bald Truth. You've been listening to The Bald Truth with Coach Rick of the Peak Performance Group the company that helps people and organizations reach their potential. If you're looking for a way to grow your organization, whether it's sales or strategic direction, the Peak Performance Group coaches can help you grow with their proven business acceleration process. Call them at 817-748-7425 or go to mypotentialplus.com and they'll connect you with the right coach for you. And remember to subscribe and like below. The Bold Truth Leadership Podcast is available on iTunes, Spotify, iHeart, and YouTube video. Hit like and subscribe to get every episode. Thanks for listening to the Bald Truth Leadership Podcast. And until next time, roll up your sleeves and get to work and you can make things happen. I'm Coach Rick, and that's the Bald Truth.